friends. <clears throat> Day five. <laughs> feel the need to start off every vlog with this thing on my head like this is what day we're on guys don't get it twisted we're getting there halfway through yay halfway through the 10 days anyway cooking breakfast eating some grapes and cooking some eggs this grape is squishy and I'm not okay with it but Ugh. <sighs> squishy grapes no 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 um, Kitty, do you want to be in the vlog? Okay, antisocial. So I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs, and then I'm gonna edit some videos. I can't scramble my eggs with my left hand. So yeah, I have a lot of videos to edit. Well, not a lot. I have three, and it's super nice out today. Like it's gorgeous. It's sunny and like 70. New England has come to springtime, or vice versa. And I didn't even. This is my sleeping hair. But does it look much different than the daily hair <laughs> with this thing on my head? I don't care. So I don't know if I'm even bothered to fix it. I'm just gonna eat my eggs. And I might go outside to edit my videos. And later I'm going to cut my friend's hair at her house. Obviously not here. <laughs> like this. And yeah, and then my mom and I are gonna hang out tonight and we're gonna go for a walk and eat dinner together and watch Botched. Speaking of botched, Kitty, like you're so bitter, but you don't want to be my friend today. She's like all sad, like meow. And I'm like, be my friend, but she doesn't want to. I like when the sun is out, because then it makes my eyes look green. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Anyway, as I mentioned the other day, um, I'm just super excited because I'm like all I can think about is my trip to LA next month with Loey and going to Generation Beauty. I'm just so excited. Can't wait to have this thing off my head. <laughs> Excitement will be more real. I can't even get excited. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I just like burped or hiccup. I'm not sure. Look at my oh, if, don't look at this if you get squeamish by bruises, but um, look at my arm from the IV. I I am telling you guys, I bruise like a peach, like a peach. And I know that sounds extreme, but like, I really do. Um, yay eggs, become beautiful. Not that you weren't already. Um, yeah, so I always bruise really, really badly. And the second I found out that I had to get an IV, I'm like, oh, it's all over now, people. I'm about to look crazy. Takes me forever to heal from bruises, but like, those, the medicine I've been taking for my anti-bruising, everybody has been asking me about it. Oh no! Wait, no I did. I was like, did I grease this pan? I guess I did. <laughs> um, it's called Arnica. I don't know. It's like these little mints I've been putting under my tongue, but when I took off my head wrap yesterday to um, take my shower, there was barely any bruising, so I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm letting them melt under my tongue, it's for that area. I don't know really how they work. But uh, the fact that I barely have any bruising under my neck from all that stuff is pretty good for me considering how my arm looks. I bruise so bad, guys. It's like a ridiculous. I sensitive, as you can tell by my skin and my scars. I've just I've always had sensitive skin. Like pop one pimple, you're scarred for life. So <laughs> that's just the truth. It's just my skin. Learning to love it. My acne prone skin is just fine. Um, yeah, I'm over it over worrying about my acne. The funny thing is though, since I've been wearing this head wrap, and not wearing makeup or anything, I haven't broken out really. All that stuff you see is just scars, so I don't know. Maybe it's makeup, maybe not. Will I stop wearing makeup? No. Hey y'all, so I am just editing in my room at my desk. Being exciting, yay! Um, so I just edited two videos. I wanna film a little prom Q&A video. I posted it on Instagram the other day and you guys had a lot of prom questions and I do have some prom advice because I did go to my prom, one of my proms, one. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a prom Q&A video and I, ooh, I just saw, um, I love when like your favorite YouTuber posts a new video. So I am just editing some videos and watching YouTube videos, I don't have to go out for a couple hours and it's so nice to have the windows open and the weather is great and mm, like I wanted to go for a walk but like nobody's available to take a walk with me and I just can't bring myself to take a walk with this thing on by myself. <laughs> I can't. I'm trying, like, 
I don't know. Every, I, I tried the other day to put on um, like a vintage -y head wrap to look like a 50s star, but it didn't quite look right. So yeah. <laughs> but what was I going to tell you guys? Oh, I was so excited because I woke up this morning and I hit 50, 50, 50 dream big Alex. I hit 40,000 subscribers um, last night, which was exciting. I mean, I know like I know I'm not a huge youtuber by any means but like the fact that I have love and support from you guys is all I need <laughs> like you guys are my fearless tribe my fearless angels my fearless babes I think someone told me to call you guys I listen to suggestions I love all of it um, yeah my fearless people so like I just love you guys every single one of you who subscribes you mean every drop of my heart that didn't make sense that wasn't even proper English but uh yeah I just love you guys and I know some people might not th think 40,000 is a lot, but the fact that 40,000 of you guys like me enough to subscribe is pretty awesome. So I love you guys a bunches. My fearless tribe. Alright guys, so I'm driving home from my errands. I went and cut my friend's hair. I feel like my air conditioner is not working and that worries me because summer's coming. <laughs> but I haven't used my air conditioner um, since like forever ago because it's been winter here. Okay, that worries me. Wow, I don't think it's working guys. That's really upsetting. So great, great. Um, but this, the sun is so hot. It's 75 degrees today here, which is pretty insane. Uh, it's like summer weather for us and it's only April. So yeah, I'm headed home really hot. This head wrap makes me so hot, so hot guys. Like. It adds temperature, and the sun is on me. I'm so hot. I'm really sad about my AC. I don't think it's working. Um, it's just blowing, like, mediocre, warm air, so that's really unfortunate, but it's okay. I'll get it fixed. So, headed home, cut my friend's hair, stopped um, at the store, and saw my friend working, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everybody, <laughs> my friends were at work, and, um... <laughs> It's like hard not to laugh at me with this thing on my head. Like I totally get it. So it's fine. But I think people think I'm like genuinely hurt or like crazy. <laughs> I think I looked literally a little crazy. Like, and then I forget I have it on my head so I'm kind of used to the feel of it. So people just look at me weird. And I'm like, why are you looking at me weird? So my mom is making dinner. We're gonna hang out tonight. That's just what we do. Saturday night with my mom. Because I love my mom and she's the best. So uh, she actually is going to cook dinner for us. So that's exciting. And we're just going to watch our show and probably eat outside because it's so nice. We love to eat outside. Like my mom and I live for the warm weather. Like she would totally move to California with me if I wanted her to because we love warm weather. We do best in warm weather. It's just who we are. Um, mentally and physically we're just happier people even Alan noticed like let me know if you guys are like this but like even Alan and I were talking the other day about it and we both agreed that like I'm a different person in the summer don't worry I'm focused on the road you guys are just chilling there but uh yeah I, I have issues in the winter here like I think seasonal depression is a very real thing and it's okay to talk about and it, it happens but I definitely think I suffer from seasonal depression big time like <laughs> Alan says I'm very bubbly in the warmer months and I'm like I, I agree with you I mean I think I'm still semi bubbly in the winter because that's just my personality but like I do a lot better in the summer it's just um, my mood and my voice I can feel myself change as well and I always I get a, I go through something when the seasons change as well and that's just me and my mom too <laughs> like I know I probably sound crazy but like when the seasons change I feel very strange it's hard for me to adapt to a changing environment I, I don't deal well with change in many situations like I like my routine I'm unfortunately someone who really enjoys their comfort zone but I have to push myself a lot to get outside of it it's just my my own struggle I've always had a hard time with change and going outside my comfort zone but every time I push myself to try something new or do something that makes me uncomfortable I always feel so good afterwards so like it's just it's it's definitely important to push yourself outside your comfort zone because of course as they say that is where the magic happens my mom always has pushed me to you know follow my heart and go outside my comfort zone um, but yeah I am just driving home and that's about that. That was my little car chat for y'all. 
I hope you enjoyed this even though you can't see me, but there's not much to look at. So I'll talk to you later. Bye. Home and look what I have at the Mayo. New Ipsy bag, yo. New Ipsy bag. Ipsy bag is life. Um, yeah. Can't wait to go to Generation Beauty by Ipsy next month. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I'll film an unboxing video tomorrow. Definitely not today. I don't look up for it today. Just kidding. I don't look up for it ever. It's really loud outside. Good weather makes people drive like maniacs, by the way. By the way. People are nuts. Um, okay. So I'm going to try to take my acrylic nails off at home right now using instructions from the good old YouTube. So one girl said to dip my nails in acetone for 30 minutes to an hour. High reflective lenses. Ugh. Funny thing is all my glasses are non-reflective coating lenses and they're not. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do that. And another girl said I could do like acetone soaked pads with aluminum foil over it, but um, I'm out of cotton rounds. So sadly I have to dip my nails in acetone for 30 minutes to an hour. I already trimmed them down. I cannot wait to get these off. Like, I'm going crazy. They're driving me nuts because, like, they were so long and unpainted. Just want to take them off. I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I'm almost done. The last few nails. I'm almost done. Um, it's been really annoying. <laughs> if I were you, I'd probably pay to do this in the salon rather than at home. But I'm almost done. Hello, friends. It is 10.30 at night probably gonna go to bed soon um, I'm watching YouTube videos pretty much just watching endless makeup tutorials because I miss makeup <laughs> my heart and I did get my nails off I didn't vlog my mom and I had dinner and watched botched <laughs> but it took me forever to get the nails off and they look crazy I don't know if it's focused or not but like look at them Ugh. <sighs> I'm sure someone will comment a better way to do it, which would be appreciated, probably for next time. But, like, the only way I found online to do it was to soak your acetone and scrape them off. But now my nails are, like, all texturally messed up and gross. So, um, yeah. Um, hardcore Saturday night. <laughs> Watching YouTube videos. But, oh, look at what I'm tired. I'm just, oh my god, I'm so ready so ready for this to be done and to get back out there and this this month not this month I'm thinking of May May and June are gonna be so busy in like the best way possible there's so much good stuff coming up those next few months oh my god like just so much exciting stuff I can't get over it but I'll be vlogging lots and lots and lots so that'll be good but I hope you enjoyed this vlog um, please comment and let me know that you're still enjoying these vlogs and that they're not hella boring <laughs> Yeah, sirens for days, but um, yeah, make sure you let me know because I don't want like to bore you guys. But I mean, you don't have to watch if you're getting sick of it. I understand, but a lot of you guys said you wanted me to vlog every day, uh, so yes. But at least every once in a while, I take a shower, and you guys get to see what it looks like off. My mom's like, you can take it off for like five minutes if you want to um, relax, and I'm like, no, like just no. It's like just like a, a test, a taste, a taste of it off, and it's like, no, I'm not gonna put it back on. Uh, oh, this thing keeps sliding. My bun is looking crazy up here. All right, well, my sweet loves, I'm gonna go to bed probably soon because this is the life it's become. I love you, bunches, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.